Hello YouTube, it's the Breaker Jester here with another episode of Playing with Lego. Today we have two special guests. We have Big T and Little Buskis. Big T and Little Buskis. Today we will be reviewing a Lego Ninjago Master of Spin Jitsu set. This is Dragon's Forge. It's at number 70627 and it has 1137 pieces. So here we go, enjoy! The first minifigure we have is Kai. Kai the Red Ninja. And he comes with a cool accessory on his hand, like a fire fist with flames. He also has his disheveled brown hair. He has the scars on his face and cool shoulder pads. Kai also comes with an alternate face where his eyes are fiery. And you also get a mask with Kai. So this is how Kai looks with his mask on. When you take off Kai's shoulder pads, you can see he also has some printing on his back torso. A nice symbol there, plus some belt accessories. Here we have Nia, Nia the Water Ninja. She has that blue strap and blue belt. And I like the torso, the black looks really good with the blue markings on her legs. You also get her hair piece there with the, with the bangs, but you also get the mask. So I'll show you how she looks with the mask. And there is Nia with the mask on. And the mask has some blue. Nia also comes with an alternate face where she kind of looks possessed, but really angry. And when you take off her hair, you can see the possessed eyes with her mask on. And Nia also has some back torso printing. When you take off her armor, you can see a nice symbol there and some accessories on her belt. Next up, we have Ray. Ray. We have Ray here, the father of Nia and Kai. And he has that cool mustache, the Fu Manchu mustache. He has the nice spiky hair. And I like the torso. What is that, a dragon? I think it's a dragon. And it blends into his pants as well. This is how Ray looks from behind. So you can see some ropes there. Ray also comes with an alternate face with a headband and he kind of looks confused. I like this one better with the headband. The next minifigure we have is Maya. Maya, the mom of Kai and Nia. She is the, well, was the elemental master of water. And you can tell from her outfit, a lot of blue there that make up water. She has an older type of hair piece there in black that we've seen before and some nice brown gloves from behind. Can't really see her torso, her back torso, but let's take the hair off. And you can see the back torso printing there. And you can see the alternate face. So let's give her the alternate face, put the hair on. And here we have Maya with a scared looking face. Next up we have Commander Ragmonk. Commander Ragmonk with his awesome looking armor. Look at that. He has serpents coming out of his helmet. He has I don't know what's on the center of his helmet. Well, a face and a cool looking armor with some nice designs on it. Even his sword is nice. Look at that axe. The crazy axe with the serpent on it. It's nice. But when you take it all off, you can see his face there. His face a little bit better. So he has a tooth, two sharp teeth coming out and his face is all squished. When you take off Commander Ragmonk's armor, you can see his torso better. It's weird. His stomach has faces on his stomach. And he also has an alternate face where his fangs are coming out. This is how he looks from behind. There's that old face. And face is coming out of his back too. Crazy. And the last minifigure we have is... Slackjaw. Slackjaw, another weird looking minifigure. He has snakes coming out of his stomach. He has a scary looking orc face with sharp teeth and serpents coming out of his helmet. When you take off his helmet, you can see his face a bit better. Does he have an alternate face? Let's see. Yes, he does. It looks even scarier, his alternate face. And let's put the helmet on. That's how he looks with the helmet on, with the alternate face. And from behind, yes, of course, a serpent coming out of his back. So here's the main build and we have the Dragon Forge. 
and it actually looks pretty cool. I like the features here. I like the round circular windows and I like the little steps leading up. I like the swords in the front and even the back here. So there's a few features. One feature I saw, because Big T built this, I just saw it now. There's a secret key. hidden... Is that a key? Yeah, because when you get it, you open this. Okay. And then you put it here. Oh, and what happens? Wait. So you put it in there? I didn't know this. Oh, neat. And so what do we have here? What are the different yeah, pictures? That one. What which is, is like a blacksmith blacksmith thing here what else and then it has like a dragon a two-headed dragon two -headed so it's like a the fusion the fusion dragon yeah and then it has um the fire fire for the for kai, kai. and then and is then that it? it has uh water where's water wait this end i just want to do this optional i think you can turn the back yeah too. it's easier and this one's water for oh, yeah okay. so let's show the back so in the back, there's, there's a little special. gear here that you can turn. And then when you turn the back, the front turns like that. Okay, let's see the inside. So inside we have, we have the these. blacksmith. Yeah, these are anvils. This is the hammers. So you can make the anvils with the hammers. We have, what's this huh? what? supposed to be? I, I guess it's like to move the thing here. It's like a spool. I guess to open this, I guess. And what's, ooh, that's a little symbol there of a samurai. A samurai dancing. Samurai. I'm not sure what this is though. It's like a spool. It's to open it. Oh, it's to open that. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't watched the series in a really long time, so I don't know that. This is the new series. Yeah. Uh, over here, oh, this is a table. This is Carpet. where they can have um, tea. Have tea. Tea and coffee. There's cups, right? Let's go get the cups. Okay, we have Ray and Maya having tea in their beer mugs, sitting by the table and the windows there. So that's a nice area. I like the little signs here as well. And all the weapons. Look at all the weapons that the blacksmiths make. So this is a cool looking structure. So let's close this up. And, oh, I also like the little micro people that it comes with as well and some nice greenery oh and the lanterns nice features here you're also given a white little kettle pot a teapot so that's nice we can put that on the table there so that makes more sense instead of drinking from beer mugs here we have the fusion dragon and it's a fusion between the water dragon and the fire dragon or the blue and the red dragon looks pretty cool we always get these dragons for Ninjago, and this one is the dragon this year. We have the cool trans orange wings here, and then trans blue on that side for the blue. And then if you look at the spine, it's all mixed up, red and blue. And the tails. And then we got the, the joints here to make up the legs, so you can pose that whichever way you want. We have the mouth that can open and close. And you can you can pose you can pose these heads any which way. It's a nice it's a nice dragon. Good job, Lego, with this dragon. Here's the Buff Million Mac, and this is a snake Mac with all the snakes coming out of his face. We also have big fig arms. Look at the muscles there. Red big fig arms on this mech. We also have hinge joints, so you can position this snake mech any way you want. We have a long tail here, and that's about it. It's a buildable mech, a buildable figure. Big T, yeah. what's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of the set is the dragon. You like the dragon? Why do you like the dragon? Because I like the, I like how it was made. I like how it, it's like part red, part blue, just like on top of each other. You built the set, right? Yeah. Was it fun building? Yeah. What was the fun part? The dragon. The dragon. <laughs> what do you like about the actual building? I like, features. I, I like um, I like the anvils. Well, that's cool. The uh, anvils are cool. And I also like uh, this thing how it can, can change. Oh yeah. But you can also put the key in there, right? Yeah. This is a more fun way. What's your favorite minifigure? My 
favorite minifigure is actually Kai for once. Why do you like Kai? Because she has a new texture, te texture to his suit. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he does. And then he, he has yeah, his cool eyes. Oh, the scary fire eyes? Yeah. And then he, he has a cool weapon, I guess. What would you rate this set out of 10? I would rate it an 8. 8 out of 10. Nice. I just dropped my thing. Little Buskis! What? What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of the set is uh, this thing. Oh, the secret key? This do you know what to do with that secret key? This? Yeah, you put it there. And it turns. Cool. What else do you like? Well, we can also do the... Yeah, you can also track. turn the back. What else do you like? Um, I, I like this serpent thing. The... Oops. <laughs> and I the like buff, how... I you like know what he's called? Agukaka. Buff Million. I like how we could do this. I'm going to kill my boss. Oh no. What's your favorite minifigure? This guy. You like Ragmonk? Commander Ragmonk? And I like how you could he could do this to, to his boss. Oh jeez. What would you rate this set out of 10? 8. 8 out of 10. Good choice. Good rating. My favorite part of the set would have to be... I like the forge itself with the circular windows. The circular windows remind me of the Unexpected Gathering, the Hobbit house, Bilbo Baggins' house. I also like the armor of Ragmonk, Commander Ragmonk, and his weapon is cool too with the serpent. And, and the minifigures, uh, Kai, Nia, Mom and Dad, those are cool. As for the mech, meh, it's a meh mech. You got some big muscles though, big, big fig muscles. And the dragon, the dragon's just okay for me. That's more of a big T thing, like in the dragons. I guess I like, I like the architecture of the house the best. If I were to rate this set, I would say get it on clearance. So this concludes this episode of Playing With Lego. This is the Brick Adjuster with Big T and Little Buskin. Signing off, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.